Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dion back with a daily lineup for today, June 13th. Um, had a pretty okay day, man. Um, didn't really cast much because in my cast games, I played Felix Hernandez. He was disappointing. I, I basically only, pro I only profited a dollar, man. I won, um, won basically that money back in the GPP, man. Just trying to get better every day. I see a lot of progression, man. So hopefully we can keep it up. Um, this is basically what I'm running with for today, and I'm explaining these picks right now. Um, Justin Verlander, this right here, man, this is definitely GPP, man. These, are, I think, I'm only gonna upload GPP lineups, man. I usually just post my cast game lineups, probably a few minutes, ten or an hour, just whenever, man, on Twitter. So you can follow me there at Daily FD Lineups, but um. Verland, I like him because a lot of people won't be on him because he's coming back off the injury. But um, think it's a perfect think this is the perfect time to take a chance on him. I'm only using this in a one dollar uh game. Um, so like Verland, a lot going into Cleveland. Um, could be bit could be a bit of a risk, man. They don't really hit home runs, man. They're like a they're like the Royals. They kind of just. Nick and pick you the whole way. So, um, if he could just get around a few of these guys like Kipnis, um, uh, uh, Michael Brantley, man, I think he should, he should fare well against these guys. Even Carlos Santana, I don't think those, those guys really, uh, will kill him. But, um, I, and basically, uh, he, he pitched, um, in the minors. I think he pitched the game in the minors. He went 93 pitches or something like that and had nine Ks in like five innings. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's against it's not against any major league players, but that still shows you that um he's he's probably gonna be on the brink of ninety to a hundred pitches, man. I know he definitely won't go past a hundred in his first game back, but um he definitely has the upside, man. That seventy seven hundred, that's kind of a steal for him. Then next I like Jonathan Lucroy. Um there's really not much to choose from at uh at pitcher today, so um I mean, excuse me. I catch her today. I'm this. I'm recording this at 4:48 in the morning, so don't don't mind any of that. Um, it's not really much to choose from. I catch her today, man. Um, I thought about Travis DNR, Shelby Miller's not really giving up no home runs, and the Mets offense could be super stagnant where they don't even really score much. Um, Salvador Perez. I thought about him too. Um, if I was to Choose a different catcher. It'll probably be Perez. Um, don't like Perniski going against the Grom. Um, then you just got you just got Luke. Uh, you just got Lucroy, man, and he's going against a mm, decent pitcher, not nobody great. Um, so uh, I definitely like the matchup for him too, man. Definitely uh, take the chance on him. Wouldn't even play no cash games though with him. Um, then next to like Prince Fielder, man. Right now, Prince Fielder is batting above 300. Um, his batting average is 320 and three home runs against Pelfrey, man. That's the guy they're going against. Um, that's the pitcher for the uh, for the Twins. So I like Fielder a lot there. Then the decent ballpark, man. Um, he hasn't hit. Has he hit a home run in a minute? I think it's been a minute. Has he hasn't even hit a home run in one of his last 10 games? So I expect the explosion soon. And this might be the perfect. This might be the perfect day for him. Vegas has the uh, game at a, I think it's nine and a half over under with it being over or something like that. Um, so I definitely like Prince Fielder there. Uh, then next we got Neil Walker. Um, yo, he just seems to disappoint, man. When everybody likes him, when everybody's on Neil Walker, man, he disappoints, man. I think this is a day where everybody will be off him. And this would be the perfect time to play him, man. Um, people will probably be on Colton Wong. I expect that. Altuve, if he's good. Oh, damn, he's out. So, yeah, I, there's no way nobody's playing him. Uh, probably Doge, Dozier because he just hit a home run. Even probably Ken, uh, Kinsler because they saw a Carrasco. Uh, they saw him flop last game. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Two points last game, and I actually played them against Baltimore. Worst decision of my life, I guess. Um. Yeah, so I definitely like Neil Walker here, man. He's still he's still uh batting pretty decent as a left hander um left handed bat against righty, so and you got a pretty decent matchup, man. Uh if I do say so myself. They're going against is uh Sean O'Sullivan, who's kinda struggling as of right now. Um 
Sullivan giving up a 444 batting average on the road versus left-hand batters uh, and a 7.2 ERA on the road. So uh, I definitely like Neil Walker here, man, in a good spot. Evan Longoria, man, this is mainly because I paid up for, uh, I'm going to just say this. I got Evan Longoria because there's no third baseman I like at his price or below. Um, I really like my outfielders today, man, as you guys can see. So really not too much explanation there. Um, I think he's he's probably a good chance to get some hits and some maybe some RBIs off of, uh, Samarja, who's been struggling. I think Samarja's given up around seven to eight hits a game. Look at this, eight, six, ten, seven, eight, eight, eight. 3, 12, 10, like, that's horrible, man, so hopefully those could turn into runs, and possibly even a home run, man, in this great hitters park, so, well, I'll, um, I definitely like Longoria, I'll see Escobar, it's the same thing, man, I'm not really, I didn't like, I didn't really like any of the shortstop today, so I just went with who leads off, man, um, he has a little bit of upside, doesn't really hit home runs, but, um, that Kansas City team, man, they definitely they definitely have their days where they're stackable, and he might get you like, uh, as you can see, like a three point twenty five or something. You, you can live with that at his price. Then next, got Ryan Braun, man. This is one of my probably one of my favorite plays today, man. He's 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 uh he basically has fresh meat, man, and uh Joe Ross, man. Um, let's look at this guy. He uh, where's he at? Where's he at? Oh. Joe Ross, man, he's fresh meat right now, man. The Cubs just lit him up last game in his in five innings, gave up six hits, 5.4 ERA, man. I think he gave up three runs that game, so uh, I expect the same again, man, against Milwaukee. They're not a great offensive team, but any, anything can happen, man. So uh, definitely like Braun, man. He'll probably go deep, man, um, hopefully. And a great hit his park. Nelson Cruz, uh, he's been struggling as of late. He's probably in a good spot right now too. So he had a 371, 371 Woba versus right-handers, man. Uh, 12 home runs. McHugh, McHugh, the uh, pitcher Colin McHugh has a, a 371 Woba versus right-handed bats. He's given up eight home runs and a 506 slugging uh, average. So to all to right-handed bats and Cruz still has some power, man. And he's out of Seattle, man. It's called. It's almost like impossible to hit home runs in Seattle unless you're just a real power hitter. So he's in Houston, man. Nice feel for him. Definitely should have a solid game. Then Bryce Harper. Gotta play him, man. He seems like he's getting it going, man. One, three in his last uh, six games, three home runs in his last six games. I'll take it, man. He, he might be going on that little streak again. So I uh, decided to pay up for him, man. This is what I'm rolling with, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. I think I'm actually going to keep this lineup, man. I don't really see much to change. Um, if I was to change anything, I'll probably just play it. It'll be me just playing it safe and going like a Chris Archer or something, Garrett Cole, and then just moving some of these bats around. Um, another person, I'm going to tell you some a person I really like though. today. What's he at? Uh, Justin Bohr, man. Uh, he's definitely he's definitely uh, hitting good against uh, right-handed pitchers, and he's going against a below-average pitcher today. So just be just be on the lookout, man. I might be using him in the cast game. So I like him a lot, man. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.